Okay guys, so I'm about to break down how to become a surgical technician without going to college in 2025. Okay, so I became a surgical technician. I didn't go to college. I just got a traditional certification through a hospital. So you got two type of certifications. You got the CST and you got the NCCT and it's many other certifications you could use to become a surgical tech, but it's different processes. Now, through the NBSTSA, that is for the CST certification. Now I know I'm saying a lot. So CST is the Certified Surgical Tech Certification. That's the one that you want, but if you want that, you have to go to college for two years. And you gotta figure, you gotta take your prereqs, and you gotta figure if you get into the program because it's a wait list. Now, when I applied to college, I think it was like Delaware Community College, you could check them out. Um, I got accepted to the college, but I didn't get accepted to the wait list. So I had to wait an additional year for the program to open back up. And I'm like, I'm not waiting that long. So luckily I didn't sign that contract, but all you had to do is get into a hospital. This might seem cliche, but it works. Now, granted, so I first got in the hospital, I used to work in food service. Now, once you're in the hospital, network, network. You could be a patient ambassador, you know, working in the hospital. You could be front desk uh, working in the hospital. You know, it's a bunch of jobs in the hospital that you can just apply for. You don't even need no degree or certification, or you could just even become a phlebotomist, something in the hospital, a medical assistant something in the hospital where though you can network your way into this opportunity. Now, I used to be in sterile processing. Now, being in sterile processing, we have direct connect to the surgical tech and periop services. You know, so when the surgical techs are done with the cases, they deliver all the cases to decontamination. So we're kind of like, hand in hand contact when they need instruments they call it sterile processing. Sterile processing is like the the root knowledge of, of the instrumentation. You know what I mean? So, you know, once you're in a hospital and you get to talk to people, talk to nurses, talk to doctors, there's so many opportunities. So with getting an NCCT, you need to scrub 125 cases and 50 of those cases had to be general cases. I'm gonna put everything on the screen and everything, but yeah. Um, you don't have to go to college for it. You can actually take your certification first and then wait to get your cases. I think it's two years you have to get your certification. So what the hospital has is programs that you can get certified literally through the hospital. Now, I just want to say be careful with these online surgical tech programs because these don't be official. If the surgical tech program don't give you a place where you can do your hours because you can't get your certification, your full certification once your hours, you can take the test. But at the end, actually, it has to be an accredited school. It's a lot of online colleges that making you these false promises, these online um, certification programs that promising you you can become a surgical technician in nine months. Like, it don't work like that. Versus when you go in the hospital, you actually could get your hours because the hospital was locked in and accredited through the programs. It is very, very, very difficult to get in these programs because it's so many applicants that are applying and it's a drought in surgical tech schools, especially in the county of PA. Especially in the Philadelphia County, it is literally no surgical schools. You gotta go out in Delaware, you gotta go in New Jersey, you gotta go somewhere in the county. Like lock in with the hospital. A lot of these hospitals figure out what hospitals do these programs. It's really popular for sterile processing techs because they got programs transferring you from a sterile processing tech to a surgical tech. Number one, get in a hospital and network, network, network. That is the key, talk to people. Good thing about this program, they actually paid you to work. So now I'm actually getting paid money to work to become a sterile process and I'm getting paid to learn. This is hands-on learning. I'm getting my hours. I'm getting my cases as I go. And I'm doing the same job as a CST. All these certifications are different, but we're doing the same thing. The only thing about the certification I got that certain states don't recognize the NCCT. 
So if you want to travel anywhere like New York or anywhere, you might as well go to college and do the two year. But if you're okay with certain states not recognizing your certification, then just get hospital trained. Go in Indeed. That's what I literally did. I went on Indeed and I looked up hospital trained surgical technician. I literally qualified because the good thing about where I was at, I was in the outpatient site doing steroid processing and we did a whole bunch of cases. We did cardiac, we did general, we did GI, and we did thoracic, we did neuro. So my background was already heavy. So they like, man, like, once you find this application and you get a call for the interview, you want to do your research about the job. They're going to want to know if you know what is the job duties of a surgical tech. For example, they might ask you, what is the role of a surgical tech? And you could say maintaining the sterile field, assisting the surgeon, passing instruments, setting up the sterile field, breaking down the sterile field. Interviewers will love that you know what the job duty. Do some research before you apply to any job, do some research. So I will recommend getting in the hospital. It could be food service, like I said, security guard, anything. Become a sterile processing tech. Once you a security guard, once you a patient ambassador, once you in food service, once you inside of the hospital, they pay for your school. So you don't be in debt. You could either have the hospital that you got in pay for your college to be a sterile processing tech or you can have your hospital pay for you, or you can have your hospital pay to be a sterile processing tech. And then after being a sterile processing tech, you could do the hospital training to be a surgical tech. Cause they, the thing now about surgical tech jobs, they're looking for sterile processing techs because one, they know the instrumentation, it's easier to train them. And two, they got identified broken instruments, bloody instruments, because they have been inspecting them this whole time. Three, they're hand in hand with the periop services. So I'm, I'm just saying like, get in a hospital. That's the key, get in the hospital. All you had to do was work in a hospital for three months and you went there like, I'll tell y'all. But guys, if you have any questions, any game, make sure you like, Make sure you comment any questions, like, subscribe. If y'all need more game, um, I'm coming with some more videos. Let me know. I got tips. I'm a surgical tech now, so you already know. know. All the necessary steps on how to become a surgical technician in 2025 with no college, no schooling.